From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Welcome to the Homeland Security Weekly Report. I'm Anna Brooks. Of the 10,000 foreign fighters who have already joined militant groups in Syria and Iraq, 3,000 hold European or other Western passports, making it easy for them to travel across most borders. U.S. officials report that as many as 100 foreign fighters hold U.S. passports, leading to worries that foreign fighters may return to the U.S. to launch an attack. In recent months, a special effort was made to improve the dedicated sensors carried by unmanned aerial systems. These are currently special versions of the ELTA maritime radar and optical sensors. An Israeli source said that other sensors will be needed like the SAR radars and GMTI radars. ELTA, the Israeli Aerospace Industry subsidiary, has developed an SAR GMTI radar system. The light version dubbed ELM-2055 can be carried by the Heron 1 unmanned aerial system. The Israeli Air Force effort will also involve its Eurocopter AS-565SA helicopters. These are being operated jointly with the Navy from aboard its SAAR-5 missile corvettes. To improve the integration of these helicopters with other platforms in the mission of protecting the gas facilities, the Israeli Air Force will equip them with a new, very advanced helmet-mounted system. The selection of the systems is expected soon after tests are completed in various flight conditions. The helmet-mounted system will facilitate the integration of the Eurocopters that are developed on the Israeli Navy's SAAR-5 missile corvettes with the Heron 1 unmanned aerial system maritime version. Over the last days, data stored on many Israeli internet servers has faced an attack called distributed denial of service, resulting in extremely slow browsing times, making it almost impossible to surf the net. An analysis of the IP addresses that initiated the attacks shows that they originate in the Palestinian Authority and other Arab countries. Elbit Systems has developed the Mini Music System, the newest member of the Israeli company's family of directional infrared countermeasure systems. According to the company, the system provides high performance protection for all types of rotary and fixed wing aircrafts against heat seeking ground to air missiles. Mini Music is an advanced flight tested system in a single compact and lightweight package. The operational requirement of an unmanned aerial system being fully automatic is almost part of every negotiation of a client that wants to buy an Israeli-made UAS. The Israeli Air Force is a major operator of unmanned air systems. Until recently, there was a man in the loop, mainly in the shape of an external pilot who is in charge of takeoffs and landing of some of the systems. The Israeli Air Force is equipping all of its Israel Aerospace Industries Heron 1 with automatic takeoff and landing systems. Thank you for watching our weekly report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, click the link below.